everybody, welcome back to Pioneer Tea. I'm here with Mr. Kelly. Mr. Kelly, his name, his first name? Dylan. Dylan. Yes. You can look at the camera, you don't have to look oh. at me the whole time. Uh, my name is Orson Gonzalez. I'm obviously the best host of this year. Uh, I have the best energy. Cut that out. So we're just going to get into some uh, questions, about 10 to 11 questions. Um, I said I, I, I said 10. I didn't say 11. No. Well, I, I said I said 11 or 10. Okay. All right. So first question: What is your association here at Mount Whitney? Uh, I am a PE teacher, and I am a football coach. I coach offensive line. That's great. I help out with the run game. That's great. And then I'm the head golf coach. Awesome. That is awesome, man. Mm-hmm. Dude, you're built. I know. Uh, oh. I also, yeah, I also teach you in uh, weightlifting. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in his first period weight class. Um, I'm basically his TA, whatever. Um, Protege. Yeah. Uh, what is what high school did you go to? I went to Mount Whitney High School. This okay, one right here. Little Mount Whitney alumni. Yep. What classes did you have? Like, what was your favorite class when you were in high school? Uh, probably 3D art with Mr. Aubrey. Mr. Aubrey was, he was still here. He was here. Yep, he was balling out. Oh wow, that's since crazy. 2013. Is he still as cool? Was he still as cool as he is? Yeah, he was. He's always been awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, he's always. Been awesome. What uh, extracurricular activities were you involved in during high school? Uh, well, I was in ASB for all four years, um, and then I played baseball, I played basketball, and I played football here at Woody. Any? Uh, do you have a leather man? Yep. You have a le 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 leather or letter? Letter. Letter. Letterman. Yeah. Letterman jacket. Um, I think you have a you have a bunch of patches on that. It's pretty cool. I, I want a letterman jacket, but that's really expensive. But it'll have like one patch on it. No, you don't. No, yours. Oh no. Oh yeah, I'll probably have like one patch on it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what's your favorite thing about Whitney? Um, probably the the history behind Whitney and yeah. uh you know, you look back and you see all like the alumni and everyone's pretty uh, uh, tight knit and they support the, the school and kind of like what the uh, school has done to the community and how long it's been here and kind of the traditions it has. But it's really cool. I, I don't, you go to other schools and I've been at two other schools and the traditions here are just so much better than the, uh, at the other schools. Yeah, are you married? No, I get married in, what, what's today? Uh, get married October 19th, less than a month away. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Yep. That's where uh, life changes forever, right? Yeah, basically. I mean, you have, like, how comfortable are you with? They're pretty comfortable, I'm assuming, obviously, right? Yeah, pretty comfortable. We've been living together for like three years. Oh, that's tough. Uh, I'm assuming, uh, since you say that, you don't have any kids? Do not have kids. Nope. You plan on having any? I do. I do plan on it. Uh, now, if I can find a way to get more money, it'd be easier to have kids. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Speaking about that, once you figure money. out once you figure out how to become rich, let me know. Yeah, I got you, dude. So you don't. I'll hook you up. What's got your it. dream car? My dream car? Yeah. Oh, I don't even know. You know. Probably a really really nice truck. That's what I want. Truck? Yeah. That's, that's some Yaki status right there. That is Yaki status. Preach to Yaki. Uh, we all love Yaki. Um, he loves Yaki. I think. Um, I love Yaki. Everybody in this room loves Yaki. Right, Xavier? Yes, sir. Exactly. Um, I skipped the question. Uh, what's your biggest fear? My biggest fear? Yeah. Uh, losing cowhide. Losing cow? Oh, that's tough. Redwood K. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, do you have any pets? Yes, I actually do. I have two. Uh, I am an owner of two wiener dogs. Oh my god. One's name is Odie That's and one's so name is Piper. Uh, Odie is chill, very relaxed. Piper is a psychopath. Psychopath? Why? Yeah. What does he do? Like, well, she will door. literally just zoom up and hit you square in the face with her face. Yeah. Just jump out of nowhere, run in circles, chase yes. her tail. Yeah. She literally eats. The other dogs poop, so you have to like watch out. I also have two pets. I have Dream Shepherd. That's my dream dog or pet, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. um, her name is Gigi. She's super sweet, and she is such not a dog. Really? Like, sometimes she'll be sitting. Like she's a good listener, but sometimes she'll be like sitting down, and I like throw a tennis ball, and she just watches it go away. Yeah. I'm just like, you're supposed not to chase it. it, and she's like, no. And then she she loves to hold hands. Mm. Like when she's sitting, like she's like this. Gotcha. I'm like, I'm not holding your hand. I'm eating. <laughs> then I also have a pug his name is Sid he's like three years old he's a New Year's baby uh, January 1st um, he stinks like really bad like I, I thought if you owned a pug you were a communist that was what does that mean 
means that you're like dictatorship type deal, oh. <laughs> like China. No, I just think they're cute. <laughs> no, it's crazy because I gave him a bath the other day and the next day he smelled like the same, like it's, I don't know. You make my bed all stinky. Yeah. I don't, I don't like they always it. say it like the, 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 they always say like the wiener dogs. So like whenever you're like, it's like sleeping and like you pull the covers off them or like you move them a little bit, their feet smell like Fritos. And so that's like a, that's like a thing. They smell like Fritos. You never heard that before? <laughs> you never heard that before? <laughs> no. Dude, it's all over my Instagram. It's no literally way. like memes of like people smelling dogs' feet. Not and it Pernetti? Like Fritos. Not Pernetti? Hey, Pernetti's on there too. Come shout on, out hey, Pernetti. Shout, shout out Pernetti. Shout out, shout out Pernetti. Yeah. We got a shout out Pernetti. Yeah. Um, Xavier will put his link now. You, he will. you have a uh, favorite movie uh, and show? A movie? <laughs> Probably my favorite movie would probably be Good Will Hunting. I've never seen that. So, great flick. Yeah, great flick. I'd great watch flick. it. Um, like DB Flicks? Almost like DB Flicks. Shout almost out DB like Flicks. DB Flicks. Yeah, so uh, Good Will Hunting is my favorite movie. Um, I just think it's super cool. Um, there's a lot of actors in it. Um, and then a the favorite show? Um, shoot. Probably Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad? Yeah, friend, Breaking uh, Bad's up there. My friend, do you know Caleb? Caleb Williams? Caleb Williams. Wow. He's, he's uh, white. Nah, but he said he's been watching <laughs> Breaking Bad. So, uh, yeah. Uh, he said it's pretty A lot good. of twists and turns and stuff like that. Do you that, know the show uh, Mr. Robot? You ever heard or it? Heard it? No, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. Is that your favorite show? Uh, it's Yeah, I'd say it's my favorite show. My dad got me into that show. So it's crazy. It's like a schizophrenic dude, but he's like way into like computers and stuff he's he's on drugs it kind of into like that smart stuff like when people are smart like yeah goodwill, goodwill hunting is uh, all about him being like a genius and no one knows and he like solves problems on like like harvard's freaking blackboard and stuff like that like iron man when he solved for like um in endgame when he was like <sighs> Oh wait, no, that was just Iron Man, like what, two or three? Yeah. Remember that scene? No one knows what you're saying anymore. I know what you're saying. Go on to the next wait, question. Put, put up that clip right now. All right, uh, all right, I'm, okay, this is gonna be fun. Okay, I'm gonna name off other staff members and uh -oh. you get to describe them in one or two words. Yaki. <laughs> um, sarcastic. Chambo. Uh, jacked. Uh, McKernan. McKernan's just cool. Just he's, cool. He's a cool guy. Um, who's another staff member? Uh, Miss Perez. She's awesome. Super nice. Super nice. Uh, uh, who's a Mr. Neal. Baller. Baller? Yeah. Because he him? looks like a ball? No, actually. Like, seeing him get oh. on the court, baller. Funny. And also, pretty good golfer, too. Really? Yeah. That's, I golfed him a few times with the FCA stuff, and pretty good golfer too. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm into golfing too, but I'm a baseball player. Yeah, you gotta take the care of, there's a progression. It goes like a baseball player, and then when you retire, you come a golfer. That's yeah, that's probably what's gonna be for me. Yeah, um, that's what it was for me. Who's another staff member? Doyle? So, I, just, I think she's funny. Funny? Yeah. I've never really gotten close to Miss Doyle. And it has the best classroom, I think. In the, the I've school. seen her classroom. It's really nice. Yeah. De best decorator of the classroom, for sure. Yeah. What's your favorite sport? My favorite sport? Yeah. Uh, probably golf. Golf? Yeah. What was your favorite sport before golf? Growing up? Yeah. Uh, it was between baseball and football, but I took baseball more serious than football. I got hurt my senior year of football, so I didn't play. And so it really made the decision of playing um, baseball in college. And so I made that decision pretty easy. So I went and played baseball at COS and then played baseball at Chico State. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. You went to Chico State. That's really cool, by the way. Chico State, what was the acceptance rate there? Do you remember or not? Nah? Not a clue. Nah. nah. Um, shoot. Squeaked I had, in, though. Squeaked just like. Just, no, I did go. I did okay. You, you did okay. I actually took grades seriously when I got out of high school. Oh. In high school, super easy for all you high schoolers, okay? Turn in your work, show up to class, pay attention, boom. There's over a 3 0 right there. I'm a 375 right now. Yeah. Sorry, mom and dad, if you see this, I don't have a 4.0 right now. Um, 
The reason why is the reason why you stopped coaching baseball is because Yaki left. No, you just didn't want to coach baseball anymore. You wanted to golf. So. I was around baseball since I was six years old, so I coached from when I was six all the way, or played from when I was six all the way up until I was 23. Wow. And then right after that, I started coaching at Chico State. And then I became the head, I moved here, became the head coach at LD. And then I helped Jockey out uh, when I got the PE job here. And so I've been the, around the game forever. And so when I stopped playing baseball, I got into golf really heavy mm -hmm. and I play golf with my fiance and my dad and all my family members and so uh, I found out like hey, okay I love this sport and then I found the head job opened up here and I was like hey I'm gonna go for it I went for it and got it and so that's why I stopped coaching baseball is because I just got so into golf and the job opened up and so I took it. Golf is in my opinion like really second nature to baseball because it's basically it's like not the same concept obviously but like a lot of people say that they're both boring but it's always it's that game within a game you know what i'm talking about right it's a lot of mental more mental than you think it is yeah because the difference between baseball and golf is you have to play your foul balls right so you hit a foul ball like you're gonna have to go play it right in baseball you set a foul ball and it just goes out of play or whatever and you get to take a next pitch right yeah. but for golf they get to play your foul ball and not get all mad at yourself and then like okay regroup it's the next shot yeah that's that was a problem that i had when i first got into golf i was like i was like oh, I, did, I missed the shot yeah i've seen people break clubs and things and, oh yeah me yeah, too it's you uh, to, I, that's I'm, actually at the uh at the uh, Valley Championship last year, group that was in with Parker, kid who I think was like on hole 11 or something, mm -hmm. bad putt, shatters his putter in half, throws it away. That hurt. Yeah, shatters his putter in half, and then has to putt with his driver the whole time. Uh, yeah. Listen, this is a very, <laughs> this is a very important question that many, many, many people have wondered about you. Many people wondered about you. Uh oh. <laughs> did, you, did you forget the question? Yeah, I forgot the question. I forgot the question. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I shouldn't have said that. I forgot the question. How tall are you? I want to say six foot, but in these boots, probably six one. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna do this every time I do a podcast. Stand up. Go ahead and stand up. I know you're gonna get out of frame. Let's just see how tall you are. Well, are you gonna measure me? No, like, just, let's just see how tall you are. are. You actually are making me get up right now? Yeah. How out of frame was he? Way, like way out of frame. You're that tall. So half his, like, half his body was off? Like, it was like up here? That That's tall. I would probably still be in the whole frame because I'm that short. You know how tall I am? Guess how tall I am. 5'8". Oh, just missed it. 5'7". Oh, uh, what's it called? Uh, also, You're with your hair. It makes you 5'8". Yeah. Uh, call out to Chambo. Um, can we uh, just... Can I just not attempt that 345 back squat, please? And <laughs> get my name and picture up on the weight room board? That would be great. Um, if you actually did the workouts that I tell you to do, you'd probably do that pretty easily. I did do it pretty easily. I'm not going to lie. No, I didn't. No, I would pretty much struggle. Yeah, I know. can't have a spotter, though. I didn't did know I that. Did I do it? Did I do it? You did do it. I did do it. Yes, but you had a spotter, so that's a... Okay, whatever you we say. Didn't, we didn't know the rules, but now we know the rules, so yeah, next yeah. time, we'll next try Next time, it. maybe next week, you guys will see me up on the board. All right, that's going to do it for Pioneer Tea. Um, my name is Orson Gonzalez, your best host, here with... Mr. Kelly. Mr. Kelly. Yes, brother.